Hi, Gemini. So excited to bring you your October 2020 love reading. I'm Gemini Rising. Every time I do these collective readings, for whatever reason, I skip over Gemini. I don't know why. It must have something to do with the fact that it's my ascendant. Some weird thing. I don't know. Communicative brain far or something. I don't know. So, um, Gemini... October 2020, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Energies go both ways. Okay, this is if you are in a relationship or on um, a break. We're going to do five cards. We're going to do um, the past, the present, the blockage, uh, your hopes and fears. Yeah, and your hopes and fears. Okay, I'm going to give um, one oracle card as an overall energy the upcoming full moon october the first is in your 11th house yeah of um, friendships goals ambitions ask yourself jim what is it that you need to release there what do you need to release in that house gemini a win-win outcome a win-win outcome is in the forecast. All right, we're talking Libra in here. This has to do with the full moon in Libra. Okay, what do you need to release? Win-win. Okay. Beautiful Gemini. is a win-win for everyone, huh? Let's see. How is this going to be a win-win for you? We're in Libra season right now. House of Partnership. Truth. Karmic Justice. Balance on the scales. One more for Gemini, October 2020, sun, moon, and rising. Energies go both ways. Energy Gemini, Ace of Pentacles, new beginning, a new beginning, uh, stability, material, uh, the here and now, what we could see, taste, touch, smell, moving forward, the chariot, okay, so something may or may not have happened in Cancerian season, you might be dealing with a Cancer, okay, that's the overall energy, we'll see how it, um, pertains again uh energies go both ways you're coming up the five of pentacles feeling rejected abandoned um out in the cold your partner may have uh had you feel this way fives don't uh fives aren't always the best feeling <laughs> okay uh, but yet when we get to the six we feel uh on higher ground okay You may have felt like you were begging for attention, right? Always looking, uh, always feeling as though your partner didn't make you a priority, right? This is past energy. Your partner's also coming up with a five, the five of swords, all right? Uh, you may be dealing with a Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn. This is your energy gem, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. Your partner's coming up. Uh, five of Swords is nasty energy. Fives are difficult energies to begin with, but Five of Swords, mm-mm-mm. Uh, Win-win outcome is in the forecast, is your overall oracle. Uh, the Five of Swords is your partner's energy very manipulative, right? Will stab you in the back. <sighs> it 
this type of energy gets other people involved and will use other people as a way to get back at you nonetheless. Okay, well, so it will not only, um, you know, lie, do, I mean, this is just battle, okay? But these two people in the background were friends at one point, okay? So this type of energy, your, your partner's past energy, not a very good energy that you were contending with. So it's no wonder you feel this way because you were dealing with this. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Uh, currently, you are the nine of wands. The nine of wands is the wounded warrior. You would be the wounded warrior if you were contending with this. Because you were in battle with the son of a bitch. Okay. Uh, who would do anything at any cost to win, even at your expense. So uh, this person claimed to care about you, but uh, I don't know. I don't know what was up with this human being, <laughs> dare I say. So no judgment, though. I'll have to clarify, see what was going on. No judgment. It's energy. Energy. Um, yeah. So the Wounded Warrior currently, uh, you're in a nine completion, right? You're in a completion. Nine is completion. Uh, still holding your ground. You know, you you fought hard. You fought hard. Your person's out of seven of pentacles. Illusions, delusions, fantasy. Okay. Currently, they're, you know, still stuck someplace. Uh, not quite seeing the forest from the trees. Don't know. Uh, you know, two seven. Uh, yeah, seven. Uh, no, one seven so far. Do I have another one? No. Okay. So, yeah, that's where they're at. And uh, the blockage here for you is the Hierophant. So, your blockage is the Hierophant is a five. Uh, but yet, with the major arcana of the Hierophant being a five, uh, spiritual enlightenment, or I should say spiritual practice, okay, higher ground, it's major arcana so the hierophant is also commitment commitment to oneself commitment to one's higher self commitment to another individual this is your blockage uh i feel as though you're questioning with the hierophant right now remember your full moon is in the 11th house Goals, aspirations, friendships, um, organizations as well, the Hierophant, right? Your person's blockage is the Two of Pentacles. Juggling ideas. Um, juggling, okay. Um, making a decision between two. Um, two realistic, tangible things. This is not swords, this is not wands. Certainly not cups, okay? Because they're at this place currently. So don't ask them. Don't ask them about two cups. They have seven currently. They don't even. Yeah, please. So <laughs> their two, two. Their blockage is the two of. Makes sense that the blockage would be the two of pentacles when their current state is the seven of cups. So your desire is the judgment in reverse I think you're desiring no judgment in the reverse position you want to let go of all judgments in the reverse position no call to action no resurrection I feel as though you don't want to go back into battle currently. Because this is the past. You don't want to feel like this anymore. So your hopes, wishes, desires, dreams. You see, the judgment in the upright, we've been here before. 
Okay. It is an awakening. So it's it's an awakening. It's a call to action. We resurrect a relationship or not. I feel as though in your hopes, wishes, and dreams, you've been here before, right? You wanted to resurrect this relationship at one point, uh, you know. Um, don't feel as though, I feel as though you don't want to go back there again. Your partner's hopes and dreams and aspirations is the moon in the reverse. Choices. I always see the moon as choices. Fears coming to light. Secrets coming to light. Subconscious hidden thoughts. Cancerian energy. Um, I feel, uh, you know, something may have happened during the summertime. I feel as though this this energy wants things to come to light. In hopes, perhaps, that you do give them a second chance. Okay. Yet their blockage is that they're they're making it they're going back and forth in their mind. Um, fears. You fear an offer again. I don't think you I don't think you want to go back there. You fear an offer. You fear a page a pentacle. They're fearing the Knight of Wands. In and out energy, player energy. Could be you, could be them, could be someone else. So let's clarify some of this. A win-win outcome is in the forecast. This was definitely a battle. This was definitely a battle. Energies go both ways. It was definitely a battle because in the past, they have this energy. Gemini, Libra, Aquarian energy could be your energy, but this is coming up their energy. And currently, you feel like the wounded warrior. So, um, and somebody felt rejected. Okay. And now someone is dazed and confused. And, and you know, these, he, you know, he or she is juggling options. Um, there's a blockage here. I don't, I don't even feel as though it's a blockage. I feel as, as though you staying close um, to trying to ascertain your intuition as it relates to spiritual endeavors and commitment being committed to yourself secrets are coming out here secrets are certainly coming out here and if you listen to someone is doing their best to, to make a decision to keep to their decision and the boundaries to whether or not there will be a second chance because we've been here before this in and out energy you know we've we've been here before you know are we going to move forward with this new beginning um, win-win outcome. Eleventh house, full moon for you. Eleventh house, Gemini. Goals, aspirations. Friendships, networking, um, organizations, religious organizations, perhaps even. Um, I think you're you're getting you're tapping into like-minded people, Jen. Releasing those who those people that no longer serve you. I don't I hate to say that. It, it's, it, you know, getting getting in touch with, with people that, you know, people, places, and things that are more up your alley. If this person wasn't, all right. Why is Gemini the five of pentacles in the reverse position in the past? 
why is Gemini in the reverse position in the past? I feel as though this energy made you feel like a, a beggar, like a, like you had to grovel for attention or something. Yeah, you were five of pentacles in the past because you didn't have your needs met, your wishes fulfilled, your cups were empty. Simple. Simple. Your cups were empty. Could have been dealing with a, a Virgo. Um, this is spiritual wisdom. This is spiritual enlightenment. Your, 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 your light was dimmed. Gemini. Okay. Your light was dimmed. Um, yeah. <laughs> Could I say like, you were shut out from the sunlight of the spirit? Dare I say? All right. Um, because you were dealing with this type of energy in the past position. Why? I mean, this is a battle. It is a win-win forecast. Outcome is in the forecast. All right. Um, <clears throat> this is Libra season right now. So... I mean, Aries, full moon in Aries is uh, polarity of Libra. So, okay, why this five of swords partner's position in the past? Nasty energy. Nasty. There's some cards in the tarot that I just really, I get like. I mean, the grief of this card is just, oh. You may have been dealing with the King of Pentacles in the reverse, okay? Again, um, Virgo energy, I, uh, Taurus, Capricorn. I don't see really much Capricorn, but, you know, Virgo energy here. You may have been dealing with a King or Queen um, in the reverse position. Very self-centered, okay? Out for themselves. This person was just not in their element, okay? person was just not in their element again they they wanted one thing and one thing only that was the empress and they wanted it all okay um it's you know love I don't even want to say love because there there are no cups here except for this, and this is illusion and delusion. So, um, then again, the overall energy here of the pentacle because this is very earthly. They wanted they wanted abundance. They wanted everything, and at whatever cost they were going to go, they were going to get it. Okay, but they weren't in their right element to do it. They, it's as though they went mad. All right, Jen. So whether they saw you as the empress um, or emperor, it doesn't matter. No, no gender, right? They were going to go after it at all costs. Uh, pure manipulation, though. The Empress sometimes I see as the other woman. There, This is past energy, though. So, um, this was past energy. And they were victorious in the moment. Okay, certainly. They were victorious in the moment. All right, you are the wounded warrior, Gemini, currently. This left you feeling wounded okay this left you in the past feeling 
this way. So, whatever this person did in the past, they were victorious in the moment. It left you feeling like shit, period. You're the wounded warrior currently, which is not too bad of a place to be. I mean, it's not the best place. Yeah. Two of Cups in the reverse. Heartbroken. This person, I feel, uh, this energy, you feel heartbroken. Uh, two of Cups reverse. The Fool, New Beginning. I think you sit out on your own venture. You recognize this, whatever, you thought this was maybe a soulmate union, and now you, you set out on your own adventure. I think you're looking at this as though the Fool's looking over at the past as the wounded warrior saying to him or herself, Gemini, I think you're saying to yourself, I thought this was a soulmate union. I now, the wounded warrior, I came out of this, you know, with my head held high. And I am, I am now going to go out on my own venture. This one, you know, with the king in reverse, lying, cheating, deceiving, because in the reverse position, they're not in their element. They may have gotten who or what they wanted with the with this empress right and the six of wands in the past they may have right so but they're still left with this confusion currently let's see what this is about i mean this this energy could very well be they could have been fighting for you you know um, which in, in, in the past may have felt like you weren't getting what you wanted in the moment. They may have had to turn into somebody they didn't like or somebody they, 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 their lower selves, right? In order to come out on top. Currently, you know, you might feel as though the contract seems to be severed in the moment. We'll have to see. Um, a lot of the readings that I've been doing right now, all, all of them so far, they're separation. So currently clarifying the options or confusion relating to the options. Page of Wands, message, or new beginning, um, very immature, I shouldn't say immature, but fresh, invigorating, um, small spark of a new beginning or conversation um, as it relates to Wheel of Fortune. So the wheel, wheel is spinning. Um, a cycle has completed for this person um, and a new one is about to begin. The wheel is always spinning, going with the flow, going with the tide, going with the energy. Currently, I think the both of you are at a zero or one at the beginning. We're at the beginning right now stages. The blockage for you is the Hierophant. The pair of you, I think, are just going with the flow right now, currently, because the past is just... Yep. Near recovery. Taking a moment. Taking a moment to take a step back. You're just... Relaxing, recovering, because you're the wounded warrior. You can't put another can't put another sword in Gemini right now. The blockage for you is, I think you're you're praying, meditating, um, leveling up, healing. You are healing right now from the situation. You're coming out of battle. A battle that I feel as though this person puts you in. This put this person, this energy, puts you in this battle. For whatever reason, either they were fighting for you, fighting for uh, some uh, other energy. They, they, in the past, did come out victorious, whereas you did not. And so now you're healing. There, 
Their blockage is um, the two of pentacles juggling. I'm not going to take those. They are juggling. Um, see, the overall energy is a new beginning. One pentacle. Their blockage is how do I turn that one pentacle into two? Right? How do I, that's the blockage here. I mean, look at the damage done. You currently feel as though there's no love here. I mean, you're ready to move on. Solo. Bye. Like, um, I'm going to take this leap of faith. I'm going to take a risk. I'm going alone. I'm a little knapsack, but I'm just, my head held high. I'm, I'm over this. So they're like, well, how do I take that one pentacle and turn it into two? They're hoping on karma and good luck. So whatever they did in the past, they feel as though they currently feel as though they've done it for good reason. A win-win outcome is in the forecast. So it says the balancing of the scales of your overall oracle, two of pentacles. For your person's blockage. Temperance, yeah, with their current energy of um, the Wheel of Fortune, they feel as though they are just going to have patience, okay? A um, lot of majors. Here are the two cups. That's their blockage, though. They... Feel as though they're running out of um, patience. There is a spiritual component here in both of your blockages between the Hierophant and Temperance card. The need for healing and spiritual intervention, especially as they juggle. And the Queen of Wands in reverse. Leo, Sag, Aries energy. You could have that in your chart, Gemini. It doesn't have to be female. It could be, you know, no gender in tarot. So their blockage is this energy coming up in the reverse position. Whereas in the past position, they had similar energy. And so the blockage is this energy now. Fiery energy that doesn't know how to contain it. Um, could be uh, residual anger. And judgment in reverse. You have judgment in reverse up here. So um, resounding. Okay. I'm feeling this this two of pentacles now for your partner isn't choosing between two people. I feel it's still choosing between do we give this a second chance or don't we? And honestly, the temperance here is calling for time and patience. That's the blockage. This shouldn't be rushed. Healing needs to happen. Healing is necessary. Judgment in reverse is saying not now. This queen of wands energy is wand. Fire travels fast, right? So there's this, this underlining need for this to be restored quickly. And I feel temperance and judgment both in reversed. And this, your partner, the blockage of juggling the two of pentacles wants it done now. And the message is not right now. Like the universe gives us three answers. Yes, no, and not right now. And the answer is not right now. Uh, your hopes and fears. Excuse me, no. Your desires. Your desires is judgment in reverse. 
And I feel as though, again, your your desires, your desires is judgment in reverse being, yeah, because you, the seven, you're coming out of delusions and illusions, whereas they're currently in it. They're coming out of it. You recognize not right now because you're in healing. You're in healing mode. You know that there are stages of you you have to do this alone currently you're the wounded warrior so you you know that you have to do what needs to be done by yourself in the moment and whatever stages of healing that you need to do for yourself you recognize you need to do it so even though your hopes and wishes not right now no ace of no ace of wands upright in the reverse no new beginning no passionate spark wants needs desires no they are the moon in reverse for wants hopes dreams the moon in reverse, bringing things to light, making a choice of conscious hidden secrets. Cancerian season. Wounded warrior in reverse. Okay, come out of your wounded warrior nature, says your, your person. Walk away. They either want to walk away from this have everything come to light come out of feeling wounded and walk towards something better a win-win outcome is in the forecast each of you need time All of these readings entail everyone being on like no contact list. I'm going to have to take it. Um, hopes, wishes, and dreams. There is a tower moment with a queen of cups coming in. Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. So, Gemini, you're not giving a second chance. You see clear as day. The illusions are fading away. No second chance. No n renewal or new beginning um, with this Ace of Wands in the reverse. Their hopes, wishes, and desires for things to come to light, truth is being revealed, Putting down the barrier, okay, as it relates to um, battles in the past, being open and vulnerable, walking away, hoping and wishing to walk away, okay, from the situation that didn't, um, bring them emotional fulfillment they're hoping for a tower moment a wake up a shake up with this moon in, in reverse that would make sense they're hoping for some sort of I mean this queen of cups could indicate you and or this empress or the empress could be the queen of cups one or the other all right it's a general read we also have um a queen of wands in reversed so we have a few energies either way they want truths to be revealed to someone 
and they want to be able to walk away from someone in order to walk away to someone else. They were fighting in the past here for someone in which they, and they won. For a short period of time, they won. Okay, so your fears, Page of Pentacles. A win-win outcome is in the forecast. Your fears are the Page of Pentacles. Why are you fearing this little message, this little, uh, this little pentacle? When the overall is this, <laughs> this big pentacle, um, your blockage is a two of pentacles. I think they're definitely juggling. Um, they have been. It seems, and you know it. You're aware. Not only that's why you have. That's why you're you're here, right? You're like, nah, I'm out. I'm solo. Um, they've been juggling a couple different things here. Seven of seven of cups. Um, oof. You are fearing the page of pentacles. Why, Gemini? Why? Yeah, because you don't want any, you don't, uh-uh, leave me alone. I, I got to close out this cycle. Do not come in with this nonsense. You don't want it anymore. You don't want this little page <laughs> of bullshit. <laughs> because he or she is a knight of wands. They are a player. You, you are fearing this page of pentacle. You have judgment in reverse two times. I mean... You don't want any more communication with this person. Yeah. You want to be single. You want to be single. You're the fool currently. Currently, you're the fool upright. You want this done. Da dun dun. You want it done. Da dun dun dun. It's a win win outcome. All right. They um, fear the Knight of Wands in reverse. <clears throat> I think they fear themselves coming and going. I mean, look, look at this energy. I mean, look at this guy. For real. I mean, they orchestrated this entire thing, whoever this was. They, they orchestrated this entire debacle. <clears throat> and they, they think that luck is on their side. Yeah, look. They fear the Knight of Wands in reverse because they ultimately want the hierophant they ultimately want the they orchestrated this entire thing so they can get at all costs at any cost to anybody no matter who okay they you know they want the wheel to spin in their favor and the hierophant is your blockage this commitment You feel really hurt by this. You feel really hurt at what they've done. Because honestly, I feel as though they know. This is why they fear it. They know that they came and went. They know what they've done. They know what they've done. So they fear it. They fear that they won't get ultimately what they want. Right? That the higher spiritual gods or whomever, whatever, is... Um, right? Given to two, given to two, given to two lovers, Gemini, it's your card, yep, two cups still standing, yours right here, your current state in the reverse position, the wounded warrior is crying over here, not, well now, not really because you, you're the fool, you're walking away from this stuff, this one, this guy, this energy, orchestrated this whole thing Gemini but there will be a win-win outcome okay and I feel Gem this win-win outcome with with the Libra Libra remember here is justice so <laughs> and the wheel of fortune is always spinning okay so and, and it's up this person has it up in their in their current energies coupled with the seven of 
cups in, in. so justice is karmic justice it's karmic justice whoever did dirty here in orchid because this is the first card out on their line all right this is the first card out on your line because this is how they made you feel with that energy right um libran season october starts off libran season karmic justice this win-win is that they're going to get their karmic justice okay it's going to be karmic justice love and if this resonated with you and you want to click the link and you want to learn more and you want to get inside their head let's see what they're perceiving let's see what they're feeling let's see their intention um what they're looking to receive all right where their sexual spiritual fulfillment is the outcome and um as well as the overall and we're going to clarify of course let's clarify and go deeper let's dig deeper i wish you luminous blessings light love always